Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokolover, and let's continue playing as the uh, Russian SFSR. So right now, you're taking a look at me currently moving down, or trying to move down, my tank divisions, because they take quite a bit of steel to produce. That's a lot of steel. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more so I can make more heavy ships. Still want to make some tanks. But I think overall, since I'm not really making any more tank divisions, I'll be doing alright. Anyways, you're probably wondering about uh, my peace deal. So that's pretty much the peace deal here. Uh, I gave... I was thinking about giving this area of Laos and Cambodia to Portugal because they've been doing very well for us, helping us out. And they did safeguard a bunch of China for us. But I figured they're going to be very well compensated with the amount of labor that they will have and the re resources they will find in Africa once the war is over because I'll probably give them all of Africa except for a few Spanish items here and there. Uh, for my one viewer who wanted me to puppet Vietnam, here we go. We got the Democratic People's Republic of Vietnam. And for China, I decided we need two Chinas. At least two. Just because we have Manchus up here, I think. Social Manchus, say. So we have Manchus up here who don't like the other Chinese. And then we got our normal... Chinese under our daddy boy Mao Zedong. So it's actually really cool. We got Mao Zedong in here we, under the Shangang Ning border region. Now you'll take a look and I have actually actually separated these countries by quite a bit. I took most of the coast of China maybe except for Qingdao, Qingdao just because I don't know I just kind of left it there. Um, I took it for the ports, for the dockyards for the most part uh, and really China in, in, this, in my opinion right now Mao Zedong really needs to control the country that he's been given. And over time, I will establish or give him territories that are Chinese to him once he has his country fully, fully under control. So, in time, he'll have everything. Anyways, we got Japan here. A great communist country with Mr. Balding Guy, Kyuichi Tokuda. And our focus right now will be invading the many islands in the Pacific. Take out Australia, the East Indies area as well as New Zealand, and these islands, of course. This way, we can focus only on North and South America. Um, there was two comments that was left yesterday. One of them was, go ahead and research uh, jungle people, jungle specialists, because that'll actually help us out quite a bit in South and Central America, which actually I've never used before. But once we have a research slot, I'll go ahead and do jungle specialists, and then once I have another research slot, I will go ahead and do some jet fighters, because MiGs are pretty awesome, I've heard. So, Especially the last one in 1955. That range is better than the range of the best heavy fighter. So, those are the two comments that were left yesterday. So, let's go ahead. I don't want time to go on too far before we actually begin our naval invasion. So, uh, I'm not going to use tanks to navally invade this time just because infantry, I think, are just probably better for this and instead of tanks. Let's see, take two. And we also will invade the Philippines. So, yeah, definitely want to get the Philippines here. So, this army group will go ahead. Oh. Whoa! Central American Socialist Republic. Wait, the Communism Party PCP has been put in power in Revolutionary Peru? Um. There's literally no one on the island here. Hold on, hold on now. What the heck has gone on? Alright, so there's literally no one here. And you saw me actually last time capitulate them. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to call an audible right here. And literally just hand this over back to me. Because I don't know why this was given to the UK. Just give it to me, you pieces of garbage. I'm not going to go ahead and try to reclaim all these states. Because I I don't feel like it. And that's actually pretty flippin' stupid, if you ask me. And... There you go. Let me do it like this. Japan... Where, oh, I guess I passed it. There we go. Wait, return territory. Uh, go ahead and do that, I suppose. There we go. And actually, I already took these islands off screen, so I'm going to take these islands back. Uh, there you go. Um, turn these on Saipan. Really, should be ours, probably. Yeah, they should really be ours. And see, I already have Guam. Cool. Uh, coasts... They know what they need to do. Yeah, we need to guard a lot of islands in the Pacific. So it's a good thing we got a lot of Coast Guard divisions. Go ahead and just go ahead and do all this stuff. 
Yeah, we're gonna need to guard a lot of this stuff. Ooh, baby. Oh yeah, and we already have some islands here, which is great. Some American islands which have to be taken over. Hawaii will be have to will have to be taken over as well. Cool, cool, cool. New Zealand stuff. Basically everywhere. And I guess I have some spare military factories at the moment. Whatever. I, I'm really not concerned with that at the moment. Cool. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of divisions. But we already have a lot of divisions, so that's good. Come on. There you go. Oh. Okay, nice. And Australia when we get there. Cool. So we got a couple of divisions that want to get over here already. And hopefully we have actually Mr. Balding guy back. Hello once again. Uh, free military factories. Honestly, I have too many, to be honest with y'all. Actually, how did I get all that steel back? What the heck? And please don't capitulate Japan again. Please don't. Mmm, <laughs> semi-modern rocket artillery. Am I using that? I think I am. Torpedo bomb. Oh. Yeah, we could definitely use more torpedo bombers. Do that. Yeah. I could probably get some more rubber from... The British Raj is called Revolutionary Peru as our enemy. Oh, okay. Oh, we bombed the heck out of a Mexican destroyer. Cool. Uh, Thailand, I'll take some of that if you can. And, oh, 12 things in Odessa. Nice. Rubber. Do that, do that, and do that. Three more rubber plants. Building a lot of infrastructure in a lot of different places. And then, convoy sunk. Cool. All right, let's keep planning some more naval invasions here because we definitely will need them. Who is moving down? You guys. All right, so we got four guys planned already. We're going to need a little bit more than just four. You guys will surround this entire area. This army is mostly focused on taking out the Philippines. So, we come right there. Yeah, maybe I should switch these to jungle soldiers first, but whatever. There, from here to here, from here to Manila. I'm sure has a lot of soldiers in it, but we'll attack anyways. We got 30 divisions within this army group anyway, so it doesn't really matter. From here to over here, here, from here to over here, Batangas. Now, this might just kill the supply situation in the Philippines, but that's okay. It's a jungle area, and we don't need supply, right? Exactly. Um, oh, more immigrants. Eh, I could probably take... Yeah, we have to invade this area anyway, so that's fine with me. Then you guys come from Hanoi-ish area to Cebu. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think you pronounce it as Cebu, but we'll see what happens. You might as well come from uh, Saigon area down to here the Philippines is, it, it just looks like a mess that's what the Philippines looks like I'm sorry if you're from the Philippines but it just kind of looks like a mess oh look at all these islands disgusting hmm right there cool that should be enough uh, for you to I'll station you in the Democratic People's Republic of the Vietnam and station you two down here as well and I'll have this guy already go ahead and come actually down here so that's why he's prepared to invade the Former Dutch East Indies. Awesome. So what are we doing here? Mexican destroyer was sunk. Great. French Guiana. Needs a little bit more infrastructure. Could we use more... Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah, definitely do that. I do have some coffee here, too. Uh, oh, we got some soldiers over here already, but I don't want to flood... Oh, there's poles. Huh. You guys are my invaders, kind of. Where are y'all at? Central American Social Republic. So apparently, Revolutionary Peru is probably the puppet of the United States. They're not a puppet of the United States. They're in the fa faction, but they're not a puppet. Central American Social Republic is really just El Salvador. They're not puppets. Wow. Very interesting that the United States would release them. I think it was the United States. But not puppet them. Very, very interesting. All right. Eh, we're thinking some things in the Asian seas here. Mm, convoy sunk. Another convoy sunk. A lot of American convoys here. Our ships are doing all right. 
don't think we really need to guard this area too much. Hold on, wait a second. This should still not be British. Yeah, that makes no sense. And we'll just give these back to the Japanese. That sounds good to me. Coast Guard. Uh, actually, you should probably guard this as well. Awesome. So we're going to wait a little bit for our guys to get down there. Have a good time. Someone is attacking one of our divisions. Oh, we're already guarding this area. Nice. Yeah. They're holding off. How many divisions? Just one? All right. So be it. Medan is doing all right. It's doing quite all right. Ah, uh, you know what? Just in case. Go ahead and give them some forts. Maybe improve the supply down there as well. That might be very uh, beneficial for us. Awesome, the Philippines is up next. So basically, it will be a reverse island hopping campaign up to Pearl Harbor, to Australia, to New Zealand. So we can only need to focus on Ceylon next. Madagascar, Reunion, or no, Seychelles. That's, oh yeah, Seychelles. And then eventually, solely focus on the Americas. Oh my goodness. Uh, Chilean destroy. Oh wow, we sunk 23 convoys here. Cool. Nice. I'm not sure what this was. A dive bomber? Yes, it was. Get the next fighters. Oh, we sunk an American heavy cruiser and destroyer. Nice. Good job, guys. Very good. What happened over here? Ah, oh, we lost two allied subs. All right. Okay, then. And we've got a, Nor a Danish. Is that Danish? I think it's Danish. Uh, yeah, division. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And yeah, tanks. Yeah, I could use them to invade, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to send my guys out of protecting the Japanese home island yet, just because we don't have our Coast Guards over here just yet. So, and actually, you know, I'll do that too. But I don't want to, like, leave Japan before it, we're ready to actually leave it, so... And I'm really hoping that someone makes their way over here to guard the coast, because... Doesn't look like anyone has arrows coming to Japan. Where are you guys headed? I mean, they're guarding islands, which is great, but... Please guard Japan. Um, okay, I can't see this. Alright, that's good. They're taking over our territory down here. But we actually have two divisions here, so that's actually not too bad. And maybe we can wear down some of the UK's strength, perhaps, if they keep attacking us. Awesome. So, our divisions have made their way down here, actually, already. That's pretty good. You guys are pretty... Quick. Except for you four. Which I don't need you, really. Approved rocket engines, great. Ooh, a little laggy. Which now means it's 1952. We're researching this stuff already. Let's go ahead and get some of those jungle specialists. Awesome. Oh. Convoy, convoy. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. How is this looking down here? Is there anywhere we can attack? Perhaps. Maybe perhaps. I don't think this will work really well, but we could try, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. We, yeah, we could actually push in. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, the Brits and the Canadians have quite a few divisions here. Take two divisions to attack this way. They are a little weaker than us, and we can't do it. Okay. Okay, then. Mm, eight divisions. Wow. You guys could probably use some planes down here. Anywhere else we could use playing Santa Cruz? Sounds good to me. Sounds very good to me. Over here. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. I would like to nuke this, but that would destroy any sort of supply that we have over here. Get some more planes over here, because we could definitely use them. Infrastructure is being built. Great. Oh, convoys. Five American convoys. American convoys. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hmm. Coffee's pretty good. Pretty warm. Maybe it's just a slightly, a slight bit too warm. Oh, and we get nuked again. Seriously, guys? You're going to nuke me so hard so that the overall supply for everyone down here is literally going to be ruined. I'm not going to forget this, America. Because you're probably the nation who's been nuking me. Maybe the UK, or maybe the Canadians. But you know what? I'll, I will share my nukes with the world. I definitely will. And there's still nothing we can do down there. All right. All right, then. Oh, they're still attacking us. Are we attacking them? Oh, actually, yeah, our division... This division, who's actually 20 combat with... with actually, this is a pretty good division overall, if you want defenders. Um, That's actually extremely good. Holy crap. Okay, now, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You get down here. 
I mean, you could quite literally cut off their supply and destroy that Philippine division. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and destroy the Philippines. Um, I know what I said about this. The Japanese have already made their first division, though, so... We got a lot of man... Holy... That's a lot of manpower being on service by requirement. Holy cow. So let's go ahead. We could probably take off this area up here. And go ahead and begin flooding the area... The seas around the Philippines islands. And... Guard and do stuff like that. Go ahead and move. And I'm going to tell these guys... Actually, naval invasion support. Good. Alright, boys. Um, actually, you should probably go in with some sort of air support. Yeah, actually, air support sounds like a good idea. Do that. I'm just going to throw them on here. If they actually make it on to help out the guys who are invading. God, I hope so. Give them about... I'll give them 24 hours to prepare themselves. Or around 24 hours. Three, two, one. Should be good enough. Alright, we're off. Hopefully we don't encounter too much resistance in the Philippine Islands, but you never know. They're pretty democratic. Quite a bit of a good, ma good amount of manpower for them. They have no ships, they have quite a few divisions, and we're in already encountering some American divisions in the Philippines. That's not good. But this looks like a nasty naval invasion. There's a lot of divisions coming around here. We're going to surround Apari, maybe begin to build a naval base here just in case. But we're going to make sure that these Apari divisions, or these divisions in Apari, uh, don't do very well. Cool. Go ahead and split them off. Cut them off if you can. Take Dagupan. Oh, we already did. Nice, 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 nice. Take that airbase if you can. Get down here. This, is, this looks nasty. All these little snaky, snaky, snaky stuff. Oh, we overran a division. Wow, that was fast. Good job, guys. The nasty invasion of the Philippines. Alright, on the other side of the world, destroyer sunk. Destroyer sunk, guess what? Another destroyer was sunk, followed up by loss of four planes. We still could... USS Arkansas, nice, a battleship. Three destroyers. Oh, there's an actual American fleet up here, nice. Another battleship, great. And then, a destroyer. Not bad, not bad, guys. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, is there any exploit up here? I mean, we pushed in once. We actually might be able to push into here. There's four divisions. I'm going to take one of you... One of you, you three, and then you four to attack this direction. Can we attack into the mountain successfully? Yes, we can. Take half. Don't move. And we actually lost this position. That's actually pathetic. That's actually very pathetic. Could we attack this? Okay, I thought there was an enemy division there, but okay. You guys have made it down here successfully. Good job. Mm. I think, I would say overall... The invasion of the Philippines was eh, pretty successful. Um, we need more semi-modern anti anti tank. I don't remember making any anti tank. Maybe that's why. Uh, you guys, you come down here. Take one of you guys. Come up to Manila. Take that air base. Come over here and help support these guys that are getting attacked. We actually took some radar, which is awesome. Improved submarine snorkel. Don't ever use it. And we're done with our naval tree for the most part. Awesome. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. You don't need to go that way. Just take the rest of the islands. Wow, it's laggy. Uh, make sure these guys can't move. I don't want them to move at all. And you guys look pretty good. Go ahead and try it again. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to succeed, but, you know, that's why you're here. You guys go this way. Nope, we didn't succeed. They are moving around, or... Actually, that was a really bad thing for them to do. If I can take that province... Make sure these guys stand still for now. Oh, we took the port. They're going to starve. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll take all of your semi-modern anti-tank. Alright then. So we have surrounded Manila. That is awesome. Ooh. Jet fighters. Yes, please. Next jet fighter. No, these, these are jet medium bombers. Ooh. Ground attack. Yes, please. Now, I have jet tactical bombers 1. How does this compare to regular tactical bombers? We have medium bombers. I want to see the ground attack. Mmm. Tasty. So the ground attack is 15. Range is 3,000. Jet tactical bombers range is 1,800, but ground attack is 15. That's not really an upgrade. Hmm. 
Naval attack is 15. Naval, naval targeting is 6. Naval attack is 20. Naval targeting is 10. Max speed is 1,000. And uses 0.7 fuel. And you guys, your max speed is less than half, and, you're, and you use way less fuel. Oh, God. Um, you know what? I suppose we could probably make these instead, I suppose. I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, go ahead and take off, like, 20 of them. We can try, we can probably start making some of those. And who wants to rebel against me? East Germany. No, 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 no. East Germany, look at what I've given you. And you want to raise your autonomy? No. No, 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 no. You are sorely mistaken, Germany. Sorely, sorely mistaken. 12 planes sunk. I have a battleship around there. Uh, yeah, we should probably keep an eye on the Philippines. Since this is the major area that we are trying to uh, get rid of. You guys move up this way. You guys keep attacking this way. Attack this way. Looks like we might have sunk a capital ship. These seven divisions are doing all right. One division there is good. We could perhaps attack Manila. Um... We don't really need naval invasion support at the moment. Go ahead and go with patrol. This way we might be able to find some enemy convoys. If we can, great. Oh, we sunk an enemy destroyer. I thought it'd be a little bit more exciting than that, but whatever. Whatever. You guys actually might have a good chance of attacking. I'm going to trust him for now. It doesn't look like it, at least in Ch Oh, God, it's terrible in Chile. Northern Chile is okay, but southern Chile, oh. I was like, why do you even bother attacking? Um, no, I'm okay. Uh, I'll accept Spain's divisions, though. They seem to be a pretty good ally so far. Oh, yeah. Thank you for letting me have your divisions. I'm going to put them on my coast so that maybe they'll move around and get out of my way. Some New Zealand or Australian ships have been destroyed. Great. Nice. Just don't lose this province. That would be very bad. Very, very bad. And let's go ahead and begin creating another naval invasion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we sunk some more ships. Nice. Go ahead and just... Take these guys out. Because if, if they can get some supplies, that won't help anybody. And they won't be able to. Good, good, good. Uh, I don't know why I landed here. It was, was probably a bad idea. Come to Dagupan. Let all of you guys attack Manila. And you just move up. Take the air base. Uh, no thanks for now, Thai People's Republic. I will maybe ask you for that later. Let's go ahead and plan the next invasion. So, we need a several... Mm, several places to invade from. So we'll invade that area again. And take two more and we'll invade probably here. That'd probably be good. And then invade from Singapore into Palembang. Palembang, huh. And then two more from Singapore into the area next to Palembang. Okay, so I don't know why my thing isn't doing what it should be doing. There we go. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. Go from here to here. To here. Alright. Maybe just a little laggy in the game. Can't keep up with me. Maybe that's it. Um. Kuala Lumpur. Come down to the airbase. That'd be good. And that's all we probably need for right now. No thanks, Bulgaria, at the moment. Good God. Who, whose ships are we sinking? It looks like Australia's ships. Actually, quite a few. Hmm. Probably had a hundred when they started. New Zealand is 10. Alright. Oh, we still could carry. The USS Hancock is gone. Oh, and someone reinvaded me. Hmm. That's not cool. That's really not cool. So, that's a good thing we got some spare soldiers down here. Go ahead and stop attacking. So, Mountaineer tanks, or not, Marine tanks. The Mexicans have invaded. And we must terminate with extreme prejudice. Actually, we are actually doing okay here. You know what? Just keep it up, then. You know what? You seem to be doing okay. Sure, you can't win down here in Chile. Sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Nice. Uh, over here, all those five divisions were defeated. We can't take Manila just yet. Come down here. Come down here. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. But something tells me. As we continue to, uh, attack and invade... I think they won't be able to stand too much of a chance against its multiple jet engines for the Miss Maya Sushev M4. Oh, that's a strategic heavy bomber. Nice. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll use that instead of what we normally use. I'll do that one next. Actually, let's go ahead and swap out our heavy bombers. Fighters, carrier fighters, jet tactical bombers, maritime, mediums, heavies. 
And Jet Tactical Bombers, go ahead and just switch this over. Why not? And, and a couple more Australian ships sunk. That's why you gotta protect your screens, kids. Because if you don't, then the big bad boy is going to get rid of them. Alright. Let's see here. We could use more medium bombers. Nice. Throw them onto here. And give me 400 more. Awesome. Uh, actually, you, can, you have more room to work with. I know I shouldn't be doing naval bombers stuff as well as on this stuff, but whatever. Makes it a little bit more fun, a little more interesting. Actually, oh, mm, Manila's having, giving us problems, and I think the only way to treat the Americans how they treat us is by sending them a friendly message. And nothing says friendship, or I want to be friends, like a nuclear bomb. Oh my goodness, the Australian convoy, or screen team, isn't doing very well, and they invaded us down here. God dang it, America. And this is why we nuke Manila. Ah, very warm. Love it. Supplies. Doing pretty good, except for anti-tank. Whatever. We're on patrol. You, go ahead and do convoy raiding. If you can find a single convoy, just destroy them. How many convoys does the states have, actually? That's a good question to ask. They can't have that many. Oh, they're going to desegregate the armed forces, finally. They have about a thousand convoys. Probably a little bit more. Uh, destroy. Oh, a battleship. Nice. Ah, carrier, very good. Cool. Actually, they have less than, they're probably around 60 ish ships. That's not bad. Not bad for them at all. And who wants to rebel against me again? Italy. Italy. I tally. I liberate you from the clutches of our enemies. And this is how you repay me? You want more autonomy? No, no, no. There can be no independent autonomy in our utopia. No. You will believe in our... Oh my goodness. You will believe in our utopia whether you like it or not. Oh my goodness. This is a good idea. Convoys ever since I saw the invasion of southern China. So, yeah. You want supplies? You ain't going to get supplies. Looks like our allies are not doing a great job down here, but they won't be able to get more supplies in if they can't get supplies, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really focused on their convoys now. Oh my goodness. And we're going to actually lose this guy. What the heck, guys? Uh, for y'all... Uh, the Philippines was taken, pretty much. Alright, so, for you guys. Right now... Basically, I want you to all come down here. I need you all... To take this area. And I need you to go. Soon. Because if they say no, we say you're gonna get blown up. Alright, goodbye then. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm okay for now. Oh my goodness. Some Dutch. Is that Dutch East Indies? Oh my gosh. 30 American convoys, 8 British convoys, 4 more Australian convoys, 5 American convoys, 2 Australian convoys, 4, 19, 10, 10, 5. I sound like I'm at a bingo match or something. Some sort of bingo game. 4, 10, or an auction. 4, 4, 5, 5. Jesus. 1, 5, Five. Five. God. Five is a lucky number now. Two. Four. Two and four, man. Or four and five. Awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. There you go. Oh. You actually... Oh, that's really not... Could you actually attack this? And, yeah, without any organization, you can get back Cebu. Cool. Two more to... Divisions, send them down here, send them down to the brig, and send you this way. Cool. The attacks, eh, he's uncareful. We finished off this area over here, which is really nice, really very nice. And Italians still want to rebel against me. Oh my goodness. So many convoys are just getting destroyed. Love it. Four, five, two, one, two, five. I wonder how many convoys the British actually have. They can't produce that many. So, 23 American convoys. Another two, wow. Was that 30 or something right there? Oh my goodness. So, while we're doing this, um, I'm going to take you, you, you three, 
you do naval invasion support and you have to do it down here i think this is the only area that yeah we actually need it so that's actually really good do that so this way we can begin the naval invasion go when you can and go when you can as well yeah uh how many convoys do the brits have they have about 200 huh all right then 60 holy flippin 61 that's a lot of dead Americans what is the casualties for the communist states 7.39 million Jesus guys you're gonna lose most of your soldiers just by naval invasions and whatnot good just keep moving on down you're doing a great job we're finding so many boys to blow up it's not even funny oh let's get some good uh, jet fighters oh yeah jet me up Oh, and we're encountering a little bit of Filipino difficulty down here. But nothing says motivation to leave like a nuke tacti tactical nuke. But I can't nuke just yet because we need more... There we go. We need more motivation and persuasion. That's what will help. help. Oh, wait. I thought I clicked it. Okay, I clicked it at least... Oh, I think I clicked it way too many times. Yeah, okay. Some of those divisions are nearly dead. Okay, well, whatever. We can make more nukes. Um, yeah, we got enough civilian factories. Nothing says nuclear capabilities and nuclear fun like building a bunch of nuclear reactors in the Ukraine. Mmm, love it. 20 British convoys, Jesus. Three, five, 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 three, eight. Three, lost a plane in exchange for five more. Four, 22 British convoys. These guys should be starving for supplies at this point because... Supply is too bad for them, as well as they can't get anything in. God, this video has gone by so fast. I just want to finish off the Philippines. Please. Let's finish them off as fast as possible. So go ahead and do this. How's this guy doing? Oh, um, actually, he's not doing too bad. Yeah, he's do not doing too bad. For you guys, go ahead and click all that off. Do that, and make your way down here. Go. You guys, and not you. Do this, and you will link up with these guys down here. Uh, come down this way, and you come down this way. Awesome. You guys should be able to be good enough to do whatever you need to do. Take out these part of the Dutch East Indies. Should be awesome, awesome, awesome. The f so many convoys are just getting sunk, which is great to see. And. Supply, six more American convoys couldn't make it, followed by seven more as well. It really does look like I need to put another army over here. So, it's a good thing we didn't use all of our guys to attack. So, you guys, you'll say hi to the Americans who are in China, and you'll say, go die. So, go ahead when you can. I mean, there's so many convoys that are just getting sunk, which is great. Filipinos... I will end the episode soon, but I want to kind of keep playing and see if I can capitulate the Filipinos any faster. Ah, oh, very good. Jungle Specialist Level 1. Um, I'll make my jungle template once we're done here. And can I lower the autonomy of somebody? Oh, we can. A I can annex Brazil? Eh, I don't think we're quite ready for annexation. I'm not going to do that yet. 22 convoys. Oh my goodness. 6? Six, 6? Something? 6? 17? 5? Six, five, nothing. Cool. Um, come on, guys. You guys can come down here a little bit faster. Five. We do need to take Ceylon, Madagascar. Uh, we have been making some slight progress down here in South America. Uh, guys, you can go ahead and stop what you're doing for the most part. I mean, it's better than what I thought, but we're not doing a. Oh my gosh! Look how destroyed these guys are. Yeah, that's actually really bad. They're doing some serious damage to us. Uh, yeah, we've lost quite a few guys, but, you know, they've lost quite a few as well. Over here, we can't really attack. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Other than that, let's go ahead and put you in the worst, most worst spot in the mountains for tanks. And, yeah, call that a game, then. Alright, then, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. We have invaded the Philippines. We've taken, a, actually, a good chunk of the islands down here, too. Um, yeah. Next time, we're just going to keep on continuing to push through the islands, maybe push a little bit through, more through, um, the South American sphere of interests, 
And yeah, we'll have a good time tomorrow as we keep pushing forward for uh, the proletariat utopia. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.